Success is the American dream. Now, success is different to every people. To me, success is that I build to take care of myself, my family, the people I'm responsible for at work, and the people that I know I work with in the community. And that's what's American dream for me. Well, I, I would say the toughest thing that I went through is, is my language skills. And the second toughest thing that I went through was my professional skills. Nobody would give me a job because I didn't speak English. As I was young, I wanted to be successful. I had drive. He came to this country, his first job in the U.S., spoke very little English. It wasn't a concern of ours because you can cook in any language. And uh, learned English quickly, proved himself to be a stellar employee, worked his way up through the ranks, and he's now a position of district supervisor. But I realized that if I want to move further, I have to do more. Just reading and writing English and speaking English is not enough. 1997, I went back to school. 2000, I earned a bachelor degree. And uh, I was working full time, and I was taking 15 credit a semester. I was very fortunate to work for a supervisor who was very willing to accommodate my schedule. Jahangir is compassionate about his job. He wants to teach and he's willing to take the extra time to teach his general managers. As far as the community, he's an activist. He's a very strong activist in this community. So he's been very active and to this day, I think in the political aspect and government aspect, a lot of people know who he is because of his involvement. He's a dedicated person committing himself to benefiting himself and his family, but also his community. He's always constantly volunteering. I, I sometimes wonder where he gets the time. I personally myself involved with the local community that I live in, which is uh, East New York. When you talk about East New York, it's like one of the poorest neighborhoods in the city of New York. When you talk about East New York, you think of poverty, crime. I have a deep appreciation for this community. Each culture brings something to uh, making this American dream, I think, the greatest dream. Since I feel an appreciation for the community, I also feel a sense of responsibility for the community. To do this thing takes time. Either you have to take time from work, or you have to take time from family. So I have a very supportive family that support this uh, kind of work, and I also have a very supportive employer. So when you see someone like Jahangir, they have achieved this, you know they've made a lot of personal sacrifice to make that happen. I'm also involved with the mosque. Everything that happens in our community surrounding the mosque. I'm part of the uh, executive committee, so I'm sort of the face of the mosque in the community. One of the key things uh, with Kabir is that his heart is after the community. I am who I am, and I'm going to continue to do uh, what I do in the community as well as at work and my commitment to myself and my family.